Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining our self-care and service practice in the love, peace, and harmony field. So my name is Laurie, and I am a, a love, peace, harmony field facilitator, as well as by profession, I'm a psychologist, and I am also a master teacher with the Dow Academy. And so let's get started. Um, for those of you who may uh, not have joined for a while, I'll do a review for our meditation today. And we'll do a check-in for our monitoring gauges as to like our stress level. Um, we'll review some of the qualities of well-being. And then we'll do our self-care and service meditation in the love peace and harmony field. And then talk about some next steps for your wellness. So let's just get started. And so let's take this time right now to check in, take a nice natural breath and just notice how these areas are for you. Um, this is like our stress or burnout monitoring gauges. And so noticing your thoughts, your emotions, your bodily symptoms or sensations, and your actions and behaviors we may be reflecting on. And if they are in any way in that more negative side, feeling, you know, things are unfair or unappreciative, feeling pretty um, critical, or your emotions, feeling irritable or frustrated, uh, numb. Also, um, sometimes stress will show we might not know that we are stressed, but our bodies will tell us, and you might have more fatigue, some pains may come out or exacerbation of pain if you're already having a condition, but you might get other um, signs like headaches or rashes, um, cold sores, uh, things like that. Um, also actions and behaviors. If you're feeling like maybe you're even like just kind of zoning out or doing more binging activities or being more confrontational and avoidant, that may be signs that we need to take care of ourselves so we can get back on a healthy path so we can be of better service. So let's review um, some of the wellness um, qualities. And these are based on some of the neuro research um, by the Healthy Minds at the University of Wisconsin-Madison with Richard Davidson, who had worked with like the Dalai Lama on like happiness variables and well-being. Um, so inspired by the Dalai Lama. So these are like resilience, positive outlook, self-awareness, attention, generosity, and altruism. And so um, if you miss any of the past sessions, we should have that at our Satori Family Wellness uh, YouTube channel or the Facebook of um, Dao Healing Hawaii Consortium um, Facebook page. And you can maybe see some of the previous uh, meditations um, as we went through each of these. But I'll go through all of them and we'll kind of do a review. So again, just the resilience part, it means like the ability to recover rapidly and more easily from emotional heart knocks and setbacks. And a lot of times here at, in our spiritual practices, we talk about having that unshakable heart that no matter what, we can stay true, we can stay solid and aligned, nothing kind of knocks us over. So resilience. And as I'm going over these, think about what area that you might feel you might want to work on today. You might have a specific area or something that speaks to you like, yeah, I want to kind of get more of that. Or I want to take care of a certain area of the monitoring gauges, like, like my thoughts, or I have some pains. Um, either or could work with the meditation. Um, but doing this part, just have a sense of what you feel, where you're at, and where you might want to focus today. Positive outlook, having a positive and optimistic scent point or attitude towards life. It means the ability to savor and appreciate the good things that happen 
and the good in other people. So really having that, especially during the challenging times, having to be positive is one of the qualities of wellness that research has uh, shown is very helpful. Self-awareness. So awareness develop um, refers to, to being able to pay attention, to be self-aware and to be focused. So it is a key, important key to progress and to succeed in our goals. So just as you did the check-in today, that is an uh, activity to help develop our self-awareness. Hey, how are our thoughts? How are our emotions? Hey, what's my body telling me about my stress level? Or if I'm at that kind of edge or I'm in burnout states, right? Um, or my behavior. So as we become more self-aware, we can then act upon them and do something that can kind of get us back into balance. Attention. Um, there, there's a saying that a wandering mind is an unhappy mind. And when the mind starts to wan wander, our brain's kind of default mode network becomes active. We might go over the past memories, you know, or expectations about the future. So it can go to kind of, um, we would say like in the past, a lot of times can lead to depression. Expectations about the future can be lead to uh, anxiety. So, and also evaluating, judging behavior and negative self-evaluation. So when we become and our attention becomes more present focused. We can be less judging. We can enjoy and appreciate the moment more. It's easier to have a more positive outlook when we're just focused on this current moment. And in connection with love, peace, and harmony, when our intention is on love, peace, and harmony and bringing that into our beings, we can better connect with this message and receive the positive benefits. So this is attention. Okay. Um, for the last one we talked about last week was um, on generosity or altruism, greatest service. So they talk about um, altruistic generosity as, as having or showing an unselfish concern for the welfare of others. It kind of it describes behavior motivated by the goal of increasing someone else's welfare rather than just kind of being stuck in our own um, selfish or self-centered um, desires, okay? And so research show that engaging in generosity reliably activates brain circuits that support well-being. So the more we can think about others and um, serving others and doing what can be helpful for others, the more it can support our own well-being, okay? And um, so, during this service practice today um, in the love, peace, and harmony field, I want you to think about one, we're going to um, do some service. So think about all those that you feel could use um, in this message of love, peace, and harmony could be in the field and could use more wellness in their lives, whether increasing resilience or having a more positive outlook or being able to have um, greater self-awareness or attention, present moment attention, or to be able to um, let go of their own concerns to really think about other people and serve others. And again, some of the higher spiritual wisdom about service is that when you do for um, another, you do for oneself, so it's connected. So, and also when we do for ourselves, self-care, we're doing it um, for others as well. For when we feel happier and healthier, that message comes across in whatever we do. So let's get into our meditation and think about an area that you want to work on. Okay. So some of you uh, could work on some of the qualities of the well being or an area, or you could just tap into where you're feeling right now. Some of you may have recognized my thoughts been negative or I'm feeling emotional, emotional about something. Or you might have some pain in your body, you know, even if you have like a cold or something, you want something recovered, you can use and focus on that. There may be some messages there that can be transformed in our bodies that could bring more well-being. 
So I want you to just kind of focus on where you might be feeling in your body that concern that you have. So for instance, if you're saying, you know, I want to have a more positive outlook. Think about your body and where your body might be holding messages that may block you having that positive outlook. Maybe you have some negative messages some pessimistic messages or overly critical towards yourself or others. And just notice where you might be holding those messages. Okay, that's an example, but it could be similar to resilience. Like, you know, sometimes when we're down, we're really down, it's hard for us to get back up. So where do we hold these messages that maybe um, do not optimize our resilience level? Or maybe our attention tends to wander. We often are, you know, in the past or worrying about the future. Notice those messages in our bodies. And you can give yourself a number from zero to 10 as where you are that as we start this short practice, just to kind of have an insight. Notice the color, the shape, the size of where you're feeling that blockage. And again, we're gonna do it and we're practicing no judgment. We are where we are. We just accept this is where we're coming from. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. And um, we do have a connection to the field. Um, we have mom and Naomi in person there. So they're also connecting with that um, live field and helping to support all of us here. And if you are interested in joining the field live, you know, you can let uh, my mom or Naomi know um, as it is by kind of like a reservation. So feel the field. And even though it is in front of us, imagine that the field is 360 degrees around us, above us and below us. And just think of the messages of love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. This message is written in this sacred style of writing called Tao Calligraphy. It carries a very um, high frequency and positive vibration that when we do this practice in this field, it brings more support of love and light of love, peace, and harmony. So imagine these messages of love, peace, and harmony coming into the area that you have recognized in your body that needs support. So a lot of times for me, I work on my, like my neck or my shoulders or my heart, you know, it seem, things seem to accumulate there. And you're just gonna breathe in nice and naturally through your nose. Inhale, love, peace, and harmony. Exhale, feel that message of love, peace, and harmony condensing and expanding in that area. And relaxing, letting go of any negative messages or heaviness. Inhaling love, peace, and harmony. Exhaling messages transform. And again, for those of you, all of us have been calling in those who could use the message of love, peace, and harmony. It could be family, friends, neighbors, colleagues, a community, you know, that his, uh, you know, many um, of us um, call in our community Regularly, you know, we've had the upcountry and the Lahaina situation here in Maui, but all over the world, there's um, situations happening. And for those that you feel really connected and want to give love, peace, and harmony, you can invite the souls in to join us in this field, to do the practice with us, to bring more love, peace, and harmony. It could also be land areas or groups, you know, organizations, um, to have things go more smoothly, maybe a work situation or a neighborhood situation. 
could be happening. You can invite the souls in to join, to bring the message of love, peace, and harmony there. And this is part of our service. You know, as a love, peace, and harmony field facilitator, these fields are for our community. So allow yourself to just invite. Um, you know, everyone has free will, but you can also serve by sharing these videos, inviting others to join. Wonderful, we have nine um, participants today on the line and in person. The more that we have, the more the field um, generates a positive um, presence and power. So thank you all for just by joining this session today, you are providing more service. So I'm going to play this love, peace, and harmony music. And I just want you to allow yourself to bring in the frequencies and messages of love, peace, and harmony. Inhale, relax, feel love, peace, and harmony. Use your mind power to imagine the light of love, peace, and harmony coming to you. Feel love, peace, and harmony, the colors, the positive frequencies, messages, and vibration coming to support your request, whether it's building more resilience, the qualities of well-being, so resilience, positive outlook, having more self-awareness, positive self-awareness, and present moment attention, being able to focus in the present. And so just focusing, this is an opportunity to train our brains to focus on this moment of having love, peace and harmony in our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our souls. Allowing yourself to feel so loved, protected, and supported. You can even imagine the messages of love, peace, and harmony coming in to the souls that we're serving. This is developing our generosity, our altruistic generosity, of really having that heart of service, of greatest service where we have no thoughts of, you know, needing to be compensated. We just want it for the well-being of others. And we release any more self-centered or selfish, uh, you know, uh, messages that may interfere with this generosity. So we're allowing this self-care time, which is not selfish. It is a service-driven activity. For when we bring more love, peace, and harmony into our soul, hearts, minds, and body, wherever we go, whatever we do, that message of love, peace, and harmony this more positive frequency of love and light can radiate from us. So allow yourself this time to just absorb these messages of love, peace, and harmony. Imagine that it's coming in through your nose, breathing it in through your head, relaxing your mind your brain balancing, bringing love, light, and balancing, your brain system, your central nervous system, your hormonal system, 
as it goes down your neck, your shoulders, your heart in your chest area. Inhale, love, peace and harmony. Going down your torso to all the organs that we have, our heart, our liver, our gallbladder, our stomach, our spleen, small and large intestines, our lungs, kidneys, to all the five element organs and systems. For those of you who identified areas that needed that support in your body, let that go into the area going down the torso, down the reproductive areas, down your legs, knees, ankles, feet, your, your arms, hands. Your whole body is filled with light of love, peace and harmony. Again, breathe in, love, peace and harmony. Exhale, let that message go deeper within, expanding, concentrating within you, especially in the areas that need that support. If your mind is busy, try to narrow and focus your mind. This is a time that you get to just practice, even for a few seconds. Focusing on love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Your whole body, your systems are in love, peace, and harmony. If you've chosen to work on some relationships and so forth, you can bring that love, peace, and harmony message the soul of your relationship, relationship of you and the other party, and see, imagine how that feels, the colors, the light, the more positive feelings, and also imagine all the souls that we've ca called in to serve and dedicate this practice to. Also getting that message of love, peace, and harmony. Again, it could be an environmental or land area or a situation. It could be neighbors, friends, colleagues, loved ones. And feel their gratitude for being able to have even a few moments of this high frequency vibration and message that they can take with them that gives them hope and strength to move forward the qualities of well-being of resilience to bounce back from hardship positive outlook to keep that hope, faith, trust, belief that things can get better. The ability to be self-aware and so they can work on their goals. And also be able to focus our attention on positive messages in the present moment to let go of any negative past messages or worries about the future that we can just enjoy and appreciate this time right now that we're in this love, peace and harmony field. We can form a positive memory. So anytime you need it throughout your day, you can return back to this space and time and remember this feeling of being in this love peace and harmony field with one another, supporting each other. Again, and we can be of greatest service. Our generosity, our altruism increases. 
that we can have a pure heart of just wanting the best for others. Releasing any, as Master Shaw calls it, the me, 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 or more selfish messages that actually keep us in pain and suffering. The more we release these messages, and the more we can have these pure, positive hearts of love, peace, and harmony. Yes, we serve ourselves and self take care. That is not selfish to take care of our needs. But we can let go of other selfish desires and think about self care for others. Letting that love, light, generosity increase this greatest service, increase within us. Let's just check in, give love and gratitude to the field that we've connected with that carries this high frequency messages, vibration. Some of you may have called in other um, positive um, souls such as universe or whoever you believe in, like spiritual fathers and mothers, you can thank them. Let's thank each other for making this time to be in the field today. We have uh, my mother, Annette, and, and Naomi at Satori Family Wellness in the live field. We have Auntie Betty and Brittany, Irma. I cannot see. Rhea, Mercedes, Marie, Joanne, Tamara, and... You know, anyone else that joined, thank, thank you for joining. And as we continue the um, wellness journey, you know, that we do not, this is not a place that, you know, um, we have no guarantees or this is not a replacement for any kind of medical or mental health services. So please contact them if you are feeling things coming up or need more support. You can also contact us at Satori Family Wellness Center to help you along as well if you need more assistance. We offer for new people, you know, a complimentary 20-minute consultation and, and complimentary consultations for those who are wanting to know what services um, they can receive. Uh, continue to practice and serve with the Love, Peace, and Harmony field. So we have this every Tuesday. My mother, Annette, has it on the first three Mondays of the month um, from 8 to 8.25, and then some free wellness practices after that. We also have um, our free wellness evenings on uh with Dow Calligraphy on Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Hawaii time. And we also kind of connect with some healthcare professionals. Dr. Gina joins us once a month. Um, she's an acupuncturist. Uh, and then Chiami, my sister, who's in occupational therapy. Uh, and um, others been joined. My mother and myself also do those. So you can register at our um, website there and for continuing our service journey continue to join we i love having more people here on the field thank you again for your support and your love and light please invite others to join you can share this link um you can register i think we still have the registration information on eventbrite but we will also have it soon on our um satori family wellness page I believe we are also live streaming on Facebook with the Dao, Hawaii, Dao Healing Hawaii Consortium page, formerly our, our Dao Maui page. And if, when it, you know, you, when you feel moved, you know, please donate, do charitable works for groups that resonate with you. We've talked about that with our, you know, um, pillars of um, well-being um, in our previous sessions. 
And we are um, honored and proud to support the Charitable Works of the Love, Peace, and Harmony Foundation. We will be actually at the Senior Fair on Saturday the 18th. We'll have a little table there. So if you're in Maui, please come say hi and join us or invite others to learn more um, and invite them there. And if you are wanting to donate to the Love, Love Peace, and Harmony Foundation to continue the programs that we have here that my mother and I do, and other we have other Brittany is also a uh, and Rebecca are also uh, facilitators here on the island. Um, please contact us and we can um, let you know how to donate to that foundation. So thank you again. Again, thank you for taking time for your self care. And again, it's not selfish to take care of ourselves to notice where we are and to do the things that you need to do. Because a self care is really will help us to increase the quality of our service. So thank you again, everyone, for being here. Um, hope you're feeling better. If you have any suggestions or uh, things that you want to to cover, oh, there's um, mom. Thank you for opening your screens. Uh, anything that you want to cover um, in our self care and um, service series please let me know we're welcome we've gone through many different um types of sessions so if you have like an error that you are interested like you know i am you know wanting with anxiety or depression or things like that we can do practices around that as well so please feel free to share your recommendations uh thank you mercedes um for sharing your love and gratitude and for also joining here um today Thank you, Tamara. I know you're so busy, but thank you for joining and all you do for the community. Thank you, Brittany, as well. She does a lot for our community as, as well as many others. Irma, Joanne, Marie, Ria, Amy, and Mercedes. Thank you all. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Aloha. Bye-bye. Aloha. Aloha. Love you. Love you.